What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. This is a video I am super excited about doing. You guys remember Zach. If you don't, if you haven't seen the video where we talk about his whole journey and stuff, this video might not make much sense, so make sure you watch that video. It'll be down in the description down below. But this is Zach. He's lost a ton of weight, like a ton of weight. How much How much again? 230 pounds. 230, the way you said it, 230 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so 230 pounds, and so recently, um, the video that we recorded before was like right before, it was like a month before your, uh, your loose skin surgery, right? Yeah, like yeah, I think that? it was a month. Yeah, 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 we recorded the video the day after my consultation. Yeah. And then, yeah, my consultation was in October, mm -hmm. and my surgery was in November. Yeah, so when we recorded that video, a ton of you guys were like, please do an update video after he's gotten the surgery and he's a little bit healed up. So that's what this video is. So it's all gonna be basically him just telling a story of like right before the surgery, what it was like, and how the recovery's been. So um, if you wanna, I guess you could reintroduce yourself if you want, and then let's just hear the story of like, oh, what yeah. it was like. So I'm Zach, um, Zach Tax Fat, if you guys know me. And yeah, I've lost 230 pounds with losing 230 pounds like a lot of people, you know, you struggle with loose skin. I had a ton mm -hmm. of loose skin. And so, um, yeah, leading up to the surgery, um, I was definitely pretty nervous because mm -hmm. I had never really had a surgery before. I mean, I got my tonsils out when I was like four, but mm -hmm. other than that, that's the only surgery I had. So getting like mentally prepared for like, okay, you're gonna be going under, mm -hmm. you're gonna be having surgery for 10 hours, and you're gonna wake up Jeez, all yeah. cut up, you know? So it was a little uh, intimidating to say the least um, going into it, but I knew that, I just kept in mind that it, it's just a short period of time. Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna recover, everything's gonna be fine in like two months. Mm -hmm. Like what's two months to the rest of my life, yeah. you know? Day of the surgery, driving to LA where I had to get there super early um, six o'clock was when I was going back for surgery so I got to the surgery center at about 5 30 and then um, before the surgery I was just talking to my my surgeon mm -hmm. um, he took me back in the room he like did like what you see on TV and stuff where they like Drawing. get the sharpie yeah, yeah. and they like <laughs> draw you all up and he's like pinching my skin and pulling mm -hmm. it and like okay so we could put take this much mm -hmm. off here and like he gets like guidelines. After that, it was pretty quick. It was like, really? okay, now we're laying down in the bed. And then mm -hmm. it was like, okay, now here's the anesthesiologist, meet him. And then he was like, hey, you know, how's it going? <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm like, start feeling funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, uh, then I don't really remember too much after that. Like, yeah. I remember them like starting to wheel me back. Mm -hmm. And then um, the guy that runs my surgeon social media mm -hmm. was there. And the last thing I remember is him, like, he had, like, a phone up because he mm -hmm. was, like, doing the social media for it. And he waved to me, and I waved to him, and then that's all I remember. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the, like, uh, the recovery center. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, nothing could have prepared me for waking up out of surgery. Yeah, I was gonna say Like, yeah. oh, man, I have never felt like... It felt like my head was in a bucket. I couldn't hear, like, I could barely oh, hear muffled. anything. It was so weird. I think it's from, like waking up from the anesthesia um but yeah no it was definitely weird and then so once the fog kind of came off like after the first night because i was in surgery from six o'clock in the morning i think to about four or five o'clock in the afternoon yeah so i mean to me, it went yeah, by instantly, yeah. you know? It was like waving, yeah. uh, recovery yeah. center, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then I felt like I was I got hit by a truck, yeah. basically. Because um, one thing about the, the surgery I got, the body lift in, in particular, that uh, I guess some people might not know, mm -hmm. is that when they yeah. have you all, like, all your skin peeled back up, mm -hmm. they actually sew your abs tighter together. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when they gain a lot of weight or if they have a kid or something, mm -hmm. The, the abs actually separate. So they kind of tighten everything back up, but with doing that, it hurts your abs. Yeah. And then so. I just did a thousand sit ups. Yeah, I remember like, so I got out of surgery at like six o'clock. I, I sort of remember that first night mm -hmm. there, but then the next day, they were like, all right, Zach, we're gonna get you to stand up. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> well, I'm like, how? Because. I'd been in the bed and stuff, and it was like, I could barely even like push myself up to readjust myself in the bed. So I'm like, how in the hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you expect me to stand up right now? Like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to stand up. I mean, I did. <laughs> there you go, man. But it was excruciating. Yeah. Like, cause not only was it like my abs hurting, like you gotta use yeah. your abs to yeah. get up, oh. 
but like at that point since all of my like suit like all of my incisions were yeah. fresh super fresh yeah. and so and all the skin is like way tighter because mm -hmm. you know they cut it yeah and so it felt tight yeah i think my abs were really what felt the tightest because mm -hmm. my skin once i like got home and like started pulling at it yeah. like it has a little bit of give yeah so i'm pretty sure it was all the ab tightening <laughs> so what exactly just so everyone knows what were the exact like surgeries so you said you got the body lift okay. and then you got like what yeah. exactly did you get? um i got a 360 it's called the 360 circumferential body lift which they take uh, basically just a strap of skin okay. all around your abdomen off and then pull the skin down and up to like meet and then mm -hmm. sew it all back together. Okay. And then I also got a um, male breast reduction with, he calls it the stealth incision. Mm -hmm. So basically what he did, because of the way my loose skin was on my chest, I carried most of it right here mm -hmm. on my sides underneath my yeah. armpits. So he suggested that the best procedure for that would be this stealth incision so I have two incisions underneath my armpits right here yeah. because he basically took the skin scrunched it up mm -hmm. and then sewed it together with that because they pull the skin that way your nipples end up over here <laughs> So, Did you imagine you slept in there oh my god <laughs> no I legit thought about like because with the body lift they cut around your belly button mm -hmm. cut the skin up cut it off and then pull the skin over mm -hmm. sew it down and then they cut a new hole for your belly button and pull it through I was thinking Crazy. that it would be like such a cool conversation starter mm -hmm. to just not have a belly, belly button like, I was like Kyle <laughs> there was like that movie that show a Kyle XY or something like that like, exactly that's what I was button. thinking I was like, <laughs> like I could tell people I'm an alien you know like <laughs> it would be cool but uh <laughs> I opted for her, the belly button. But, but that's probably a good choice. <laughs> um, so you, you know, you go through the surgery, you wake up in the hospital, yeah. and then so how long was it until you ended up leaving the hospital and going home? Yeah, I was I was at the hospital uh, for two nights. Okay, wow, so, so not that long. No, no, not long yeah. at all. Like it was, I stayed there the night of my surgery. Mm -hmm. Then the next day they monitored me, stayed there that night, and then the next day I went home. Jeez, yeah. And going home was yeah, was, an ass. was definitely it was nice because I wanted to go home. Yeah. But at the same time, it was rough mm -hmm. because it was like I had to stand up, mm -hmm. I had to walk. I mean, they they put me in a wheelchair, yeah. yeah, and then they wheeled me down to the yeah. car. But getting in and out of the car, like <laughs> when I got home, that was so painful. Mm -hmm. And I had to have people help me. Yeah. Like without my family, there's I it would have been really rough, yeah. really rough because. The first week being home, you know, I couldn't stand up on mm -hmm. my own. Luckily, wow. oh, I mean, <laughs> I guess as lucky as you could be with a catheter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Luckily, I had a catheter. So when I got home, you know, I didn't have to stand up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I just basically sat mm -hmm. at home in my couch mm -hmm. for two weeks yeah. until my next doctor's appointment. And then I went to my doctor's appointment, and that's when I ended up getting my catheter out. Mm -hmm. and so then, two weeks with the catheter. Yep. Um, and then I remember we were talking. So how long was it until you were able to like shower and basically you were able to like <laughs> function normally? Yeah, um, I, I started functioning normally, like or I felt like I was starting to function normally before I was able to shower. Yeah. Because Ooh, the thing yeah. is, is like. They put drains in you yeah. after your surgery because otherwise fluid will accumulate okay. in your areas. So with the drains, they don't want you to shower mm -hmm. because then stuff can get into where yeah, the drain absolutely. insertions are And how are many, at. how many drains did you have? I had six. I had six drains, a pain pump, and a catheter. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. when I first came was, home, I like had tubes pain. coming out <laughs> of everywhere. Yeah, no, seriously, I felt so weird having like just all these tubes and yeah. like pouches in it. It was definitely and weird. And then um, with the um, the drains and stuff, what exactly? So they're getting rid of like blood at the first, right? And yeah. then just like fluid buildup. Yeah. At first, it was a lot of blood. And then at first, <laughs> I don't know. This is like too much. But at first, it was like bright bright blood. Mm -hmm. Then it turned to dark blood. Then it turned to like fluid. Yeah. Basically, yeah. And then so you yourself, you were pouring that out, right? That was like. Yeah. Well, I mean, at first, I had people helping me do of it. Of course. And then yeah. once I. Uh, after, I, I think it was two weeks, when I got my catheter out, I also got four of the drains out. Mm -hmm. So after oh, I yeah. got the four nice. drains out, then I just started doing it on my own. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I only have two drains. Yeah. I can stand up and move around mm -hmm. now at this point. So I was like, I don't really need somebody yeah. to help me do my drains. I lost my train of thought on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you have the drains, and were you at all ever like kind of like, Maybe I'll just shower and not tell the doctor. Anything, was there anything nope. like that? So nope, you were never. No, because mm -hmm. I... 
I went into this thinking, you know, this is not gonna be forever. This is just a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Do it right. Mm -hmm. Don't push yourself. Don't do anything your your surgeon tells you not to do. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is something I want to just go as smoothly as possible. Mm -hmm. I don't want any complications. Mm -hmm. I don't want, you know, I don't want like less than ideal results. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I was like, I'm gonna follow everything to a T. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't shower. You know. And yeah. then the thing is with not showering is they don't want you to shower until all your drains are out. Yeah. My drain stayed in for an abnormal amount of time. Yeah, I was gonna add, yeah. Yeah, the first four drains came out at a completely normal time. Mm -hmm. Two to three weeks is normally what you can expect mm -hmm. to get your drains out. Mm -hmm. um, it's not uncommon for mm -hmm. them to go longer. Mm -hmm. You know, my surgeon wasn't like, oh crap, you know, yeah. like, you, you shouldn't be draining yeah. still. He was just like, yeah, this happens, you know, it'll stop eventually, mm -hmm. but for now, we just gotta keep them in. Um, so then, it, yeah, it was 45 days. I counted. Yeah. <laughs> that I, I did too. not yeah. I was not able to shower because of my drains. Mm -hmm. And then finally when I went and I got I went to go get my drains out, but the one there was still one drain that wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And so after I got the other drain out, I only had one left. And then I was telling him, I'm like, man. Please. Well yeah, yes. no, I was just like <laughs> Uh, really because I was so disappointed that yeah. that other one didn't come out like I was like I would you were probably like I can't wait to get home and shower oh I know well that start my normal life again that's what yeah. I thought I thought I was gonna go to this appointment get both of the drains out and then just be able to kind of feel normal again mm -hmm. but then I still had one drain and I was like Ugh. yeah and then luckily my surgeon was like look you know you just have one left you can shower oh okay cool but nice. showering yeah. with the drain wasn't that fun like right. I had to like Moving yeah. around, like be careful with it and stuff because it's yeah. drains are not fun. Mm -hmm. They they're attached to these little bladders that like fill up with the fluid, mm -hmm. and so if you're not careful, like and you drop mm -hmm. it, it hurts. Yeah, because it's attached. It, yeah, well, yeah, and it pulls from the inside. Oh. Uh, so it was not fun showering with that drain. Mm -hmm. And then luckily, now two days ago, I got my drain out. Yeah. So I'm like, so that's ah. like super fresh, like. Yeah, just happened. Yeah, so I do want to talk about before we get into that because that's something I'm super interested in. But as far as like your mentality when you were dealing with you know not being able to move around, you felt like I, I would only imagine you feel like your life's kind of on pause for a little bit, right? Oh, like, definitely. You're not able to obviously you're not able to go to the gym. Your, your routine's all off, so eating was probably a little bit more difficult. So mentally, um, did you think that you were ready before the surgery, and do you feel now that you could have even been ready? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I think I was as ready as I could be okay you know what I mean good. because I put in a lot of thought I uh I meal prepped like I saw that like I think it was like yeah. 23 meals yeah. you know what I mean so it's like I went into it like because I that's what I wanted to do I was mm -hmm. like I want to be super prepared I'm mm -hmm. like that with any major decision in my mm -hmm. life like I'm gonna think it through I'm gonna be as prepared as I can be because then it just helps ease my mind yeah. about everything and so I feel like I was as prepared as I could be but I don't feel like anything could have prepared me mm -hmm. for actually going through it yeah. because it was a whole different ball game when I got home. You know, the first week or so, I was kind of out of it because mm. I was pretty doped up. Yeah. And then, um, so my eating was real on point because I was sleeping a lot. I was on opiates for the pain. So it was like my, my appetite wasn't really there. And then um, once I started getting better, my appetite started coming back. Mm. And then my brother was in town and so we were going out to eat and stuff, but so my diet kind of started slacking as time went on and when I ran out of my meal yeah, preps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I think I think that uh, I was just about as prepared as I could have been. So I do want to ask this. So how much weight did they take off as far as skin? Yeah, skin they took so. off uh, 10.3 pounds. 10.3 pounds. So you said you went in at? 227. 227 and then you they Left took that. off, yeah, 10.3, mm -hmm. so I probably, yeah, I was like 217. 17. And then you you said you weighed yourself a few days ago and you Yeah, and I was 229. Yeah. See, I'm actually up a little bit, but mm -hmm. the, the crazy thing is, is before when I would be up my weight in a little bit, and you know, like, w once you know, mm -hmm. like me and you, I know that most of that weight that I gained is water. Yeah, exactly. I know for yeah. a fact. Yeah. So most of it's going to go away. Obviously, I did gain some fat. Yeah. There's no way I sat on my couch for two months and yeah. ate the way I ate and mm -hmm. did not gain yeah. fat. I know I did. Yeah. But um, so it's it, it mentally doesn't wear on me. And then also the aspect of not having that skin filled with all that water yeah. bloat. Mentally, when I look at myself, when I was still had the skin mm -hmm. and I would be bloated, I felt so yeah. fat. Like mm -hmm. I would feel like I was just huge yeah. and now 
it doesn't really wear on my mentality like that anymore. Yeah. Like, I, I'm a little bit puffier in my face or whatever, but it's not like, I don't feel like ashamed or embarrassed mm -hmm. or like, I don't feel like my clothes are fitting weird. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of crazy how just like, just having that loose skin can, can mess with your mentality mm -hmm. about your, your own body image yeah. and stuff. And that's the thing that I always say, like if it's, people look at me and they're like oh it's so cool that you haven't gotten the surgery which like it's really nice that people say that but i'm i don't do that to like be this person that's like oh you don't need it like i just feel like right now it's not like something that i struggle with too much right. but i do agree like when when you do have loose skin the water weight and stuff it does show more oh, and definitely. and so that does if you if it's not something that you know about it can be really frustrating. You don't understand yep. why you're like, man, I feel like I gained 20 pounds and all, like, you know, all I ate was, you know, just a, maybe an extra meal, you right, know? Yeah. Um, Some more salt or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I, I, I can totally see that. So it's been only been two days since you've been able to really, um, you know, like, I guess see the fruits of your labor, right? Pretty like, much, yeah. You know, so what was it like, like the first time you put on like pants and you didn't have the, the loose skin oh, down man. there? Like, I know that, that was, was amazing. Recent. That was yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday was the first day I put on a pair of jeans because before then, my my thighs got super swollen. They were like huge. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I was wearing the binders here, mm -hmm. so I was having fluid and swelling here. But since the binders were kind of compressing, mm -hmm. it was pushing it down to my yeah, legs. Yeah. And so I couldn't even get jeans up past my knees. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday I hopped out of the shower and I was like, yeah, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. And I put the jeans on. I'm telling you, it was incredible. I, it, it, it's hard to explain mm -hmm. that feeling and just the way it looked. I was like, this is insane. Mm -hmm. This is what normal people yeah, feel yeah, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I that has never been a reality for mm -hmm. me. For as long as I can remember, I had a huge gut. Mm -hmm. Like I've been big my whole entire life. So it was like, it was always like, do I put my, my do I wear my pants over my gut or mm -hmm. under my gut? Mm -hmm. Or like, you or know, do I try and pull it over my loose, yeah. lo like my love handles mm -hmm. or do I put it under? And then it's like, either way, it's like when you put it, like when you put your pants over your loose skin, it's not comfortable, mm -hmm. especially if you're wearing jeans yeah, if it's and you tight. sit down. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah, and it starts it's, digging yeah. in and like if you turn and then it starts pulling mm -hmm. at the skin. And so that was a big one. That, mm -hmm. that was honestly, one of the biggest things for me that that actually was what I expected. Mm -hmm. You know, the way clothes fit me and my confidence now, mm -hmm. like when I'm wearing clothes yeah. and like, I, I just feel like I don't look, like, cause that was one thing is I always felt like I looked abnormal. Like I looked different. Mm -hmm. Like people could tell that there was yeah, something but, off about yeah. me or something, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so now I don't feel that yeah. way at all. That's and like, awesome, I could wear shirts that are more form fitting now mm -hmm. and like, I'm not, worried about like yeah you know that because that that's that's something you worry about and like people probably don't notice as much as you think they do yeah but, absolutely mm -hmm. but if you're aware of it it doesn't that's really, all that matter. really matter exactly yep. yeah, you're exactly. gonna have anxiety yeah. about it you're gonna feel bad about it mm -hmm. so that's that's like the biggest thing is like mm -hmm. wearing those jeans putting shirts on now and it's mm -hmm. just Flat, yeah, you know, it's it's a great feeling yeah. for sure. So I know that it's only been like two days since you've been, you know, right. like being like able to wear stuff, normal yeah. clothes and all, like be able to, you know, walk around and do everything you want to do. You just had your first gym session, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was actually cleared to like walk as much as I wanted um, about a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So once I got cleared to walk as much as I wanted, I was like, all right, I'm going to start walking. Mm -hmm. So I started just walking my dog around my neighborhood all the time. And then, uh, yeah, at, when I went and got my last drain out, that's when my doctor was like, so what do you want to do? And I was mm -hmm. like, I want to lift. Uh -huh. And he was like, all right, yeah, you can do that now. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, what? Like, yeah. I was like, I want to drive home right now and just go yeah, lift. Know, right? <laughs> that's awesome, man. But uh, I didn't go drive home and we go lift. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, I was still kind of leaking a little bit mm -hmm. from the drain, you know? Yeah. So I was like, eh. It's probably a better idea if I just wait a day and mm -hmm. then go to the gym. Yeah. But yeah, the very next day I was I woke up right away, mm -hmm. back to my routine. Like that's mm -hmm. what felt so nice. Was like I finally felt like, all right, this is done. Like mm -hmm. like the like it's not completely done my recovery yeah. process. I still have scar treatment. I still have to wear like compression shirts. Mm -hmm. But I finally feel like I'm to the point now to where it's I'm recovered enough mm -hmm. that I can get back into the swing of things, that I can get back into my regular routine. And that is the best feeling yeah. because about two weeks in, it really hit me hard where it was like, man, I've been sitting on this couch for two weeks. I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. I just want to work out. I just mm -hmm. want to 
get up. I'm sick of having people take care of me. Like, I just want to be independent again. Like, I don't like that I have to rely on people mm -hmm. to feed me, to help me change my clothes mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Like, it, that's what I feel like I wasn't prepared for the most. Mm -hmm. I, I really thought that I would be better with just being okay with being complacent, I mm -hmm. guess. But it, it no, yeah. it was not fun. And I felt, I, I definitely felt depressed mm -hmm. not being able to work, yeah. not being able to work out. It just felt like I was a nothing person. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't even stand up for my, like, stand up on my own. So it was like, uh, mm -hmm. like, I don't feel like a person anymore. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm just existing. Yeah, basically. definitely. Especially like after losing all the weight and doing that all on your, on your own, you feel like, man, like now I can't even stand up you know mm -hmm. and uh, as far as so I'm uh, interested in pain wise like how was it like when you first got back I'm sure you probably barely felt anything right or, or who knows I don't know but and then how like to where you are now like do you feel any pain now how was the pain when you first you know got it done how was there a range like um, <laughs> not trying to scare any of you, but <laughs> no I want you to know like, <laughs> well I know well yeah. that's that's what I'm saying you yeah. know I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest about it but um, for the most part, the pain, I would say, when I, was, when I wasn't moving, mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When I wasn't moving, the drugs were doing their job, yeah. and I was just, it was fine. But uh, any movement, mm -hmm. you know, because of my, my abs, that's what, that was where the pain mm -hmm. was, 100%. Um, so anytime I moved, or right after surgery, you, you cough. Yeah. You oh, just do, yeah. you do. And you're sitting, and so, and they encourage you to cough because mm -hmm. after surgery, there's a high risk of getting pneumonia because you're bedridden. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, they're telling me, no, cough, it's mm -hmm. good. And I'm like, no, I'm yeah, not gonna cough. Yeah. It's the worst pain I've ever felt mm -hmm. in my life. Okay. You know, I, I, I was in the hospital, and they, they have you like hug a pillow, and I, like, I would have to hype myself up. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> like, all right, come on, Zach, you're gonna do it. You're gonna cough. Just get it done. And like, the worst was when like, you know how sometimes you cough and then as soon as you take a breath in, you, you just immediately cough and it's like, mm -hmm. you have no control yeah. over whether you're gonna cough or not. Anytime I have like one of those little coughing fits, oh mm -hmm. man. Yeah. It, it's like someone's just punching you in the stomach when yeah, you just no, it, surgery. It seriously, is the worst pain I have ever felt yeah. in my life. Like tears streaming down my mm -hmm. face, like ugh. Mm -hmm. But um, that went away pretty quick, like that was, the first week and a half okay. was really painful, and then after that, it wasn't so bad. After mm -hmm. that, it was kind of, um, I mean, it hurt, mm -hmm. but it was more manageable, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, yeah, it hurts, but it's not that bad. Okay. Anytime getting up, though, getting up was rough, mm -hmm. because everything's so tight, mm -hmm. you gotta use your abs to stand up. So, getting up also was pretty painful. Okay, so, and then you, you obviously you still have the scars, Yes. You're, you're said, you said that you're cool with us showing the scars, right? So we'll, we'll have like some of the B-roll footage over. Um, but as far as like right now, do they hurt at all? Is there any pain or is it just like, can you can you tell that they're there? You know? Um, yeah, I could definitely tell that it's there. Um, I'm still pretty numb in a lot of places, okay. honestly. That makes like, sense. I have yeah. feeling right here. I have feeling right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm basically numb all right here Prove it. and all right. <laughs> that would hurt. Um, but um, actually, the only thing that's actually still sore is my nipples. Honestly, my nipples are sensitive and sore still, man. I'm like, okay. But no, it's like it's weird because I was a lot more numb when I first got out of my surgery, mm -hmm. and then now it's like the pain went away, like all the internal pain, mm -hmm. but now I feel like my nerve endings and connections are starting to like grow back. Yeah. And I st am starting to get like a little more like tender, yeah. you know, in the places yeah, I was numb, yeah. I can start to feel it mm -hmm. a little bit more. And so it, it hurts a little bit, but it's not like, you, know, you obviously you're able to walk around and oh yeah, like I can work out, around. I can run. Um, can, yeah. As far as like how long has the doctor said that it will be until you feel like a hundred percent like yourself? Have they kind of told you, or does that depend on each person? Um, yeah, no, they they haven't given me a day. Mm -hmm. um, I I feel like I'm basically there. The only mm -hmm. reason I wouldn't feel like normal, yeah. I guess, is because like I do still have like a little bit of sensitivity, mm -hmm. and um, I still have to wear compression shirts. Yeah, but I mean. Other than that, I definitely feel pretty normal. Getting the drain out and then not yeah. having to wear 
because I like <laughs> that's another thing. Mm -hmm. um, they tell you to use like pads, like maxi pads, mm -hmm. instead of bandages. Okay. Because they're not as tight. Well, that is, and they're, they're sterile and they're mm. cheap. Oh, okay. And you have to change them every day. Yeah. And I had to go all the way around my body yeah. and all on wow. my chest and down here. So buying bandages, that would be a lot of bandages. Yeah. And so um, when I got my last drain out, that's when he was like, yeah, you don't have to wear the pads anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that was another big thing. So I'm still just kind of setting in because the pads were big. Yeah. So it, it was still added some bulk to me. Mm -hmm. But now that I don't have the pads, yeah. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, like, you can actually no, finally like, feel. Yeah, I'm like, you're yeah. flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the other day, actually, it was a crazy experience because I did not think this would happen. I was sitting forward, and as mm -hmm. you probably know, yeah. when, whenever I sat forward like this, I could always feel my yeah. skin mm -hmm. folding over on my chest. Mm -hmm. And so I was sitting forward and it felt like that. Mm -hmm. And then I caught myself, I'm like, wait a minute. And I feel, and there's just yeah, no fold at all. So cool, and I'm man. like, that is so weird mm -hmm. that I still feel like I have the skin, even yeah. though I don't. Like, yeah. I'm wondering how Phantom, long that'll last. What was it, Phantom pain, people that like have like their like hand blown off, they still feel like pain. Yeah, there, yeah exactly. Even it's no hand there, obviously. Yeah, yeah it was weird, That's man. Yeah. That's super cool. So, um, well, this video is like super long, but I yeah, do right? want, I do want it like you know, if you have one thing to say or any advice to someone that might be thinking about getting the surgery or something that maybe you wish you knew before you got or just like whatever you want to you know in this video with whatever it might be like what would you say to somebody um i'd say just think about it if it's something that you want to do and if it's something like it obviously increased my confidence and my i, I would say my quality of life just okay. in the the sense that i don't I'm not self-conscious about it mm -hmm. and just the way clothes fit me and just it, it got in the way of a lot of things mm -hmm. you know what I mean and so I think that anybody thinking about getting the surgery definitely weigh your options ask yourself if it's gonna be good and plan out your timing mm -hmm. that is one of the biggest things I would say because you're gonna be down you're gonna feel like crap for a while mm -hmm. so make sure you have you know somebody to take care of you mm -hmm. you somebody to watch your kids if you have kids yeah. you know what I mean like you want to be prepared for being able to not do anything, anything for yeah. two weeks at mm -hmm. least, you know? And But other than that, I mean, I'd say go for it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, I don't have any hang-ups about doing it. Like, nice. it's, the recovery sucked, mm -hmm. you know, but I feel like I'm over the hill. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I feel like I'm coasting down at mm -hmm. the bottom now. So it's like, looking back on it, I'm, it, it's all, yeah. it's amazing. Wait, so, you're in the middle of it. it. Feels like this is the end of my world. But now that you know hindsight's 2020, right? You're like, yeah, ah, it's not really. Yeah, and it, and it went by pretty quick. Honestly, yeah. the recovery will go by quicker than you mm -hmm. think. Awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, again, thank you so much for sharing your story. I mean, if you guys that have any questions or anything, you can leave those down in the comments. I'll be down there. I'm sure Zach will be down there yep. if, if he wants it reply to you guys but again if you guys are all i think it would be kind of cool maybe in like a few months time to actually like revisit zach and and kind of see how he's doing and how how the recovery is because you know it's super fresh literally two yeah. days ago right yeah um, <laughs> so but yeah again i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video thank you so much for sharing your story course, make sure you like comment and subscribe there was one other thing that i wanted to say what was it? Oh, yeah. look how buff i am <laughs> 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 Sweet, dude, that was awesome, bro. That was so good. Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.